In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the site Quizlet. Quizlet will allow you to make flashcards for your students. Uh, students can also create their own uh, flashcards in Quizlet. And what's great about Quizlet is that once you make a stack of flashcards, your students can actually use them to study in six different ways. And so it's a really versatile site. Your, uh, they can access the Quizlet site and study right off of that, or you can embed these uh, stacks into your Google site or a School Fusion page or a blog so that your students can access them right off of their of your classroom website. The first thing you need to do is create an account at Quizlet. So you would click sign up. Quizlet makes it very easy. You can actually use your Google credentials to sign up with Quiz Quizlet so you don't even have to create an account. So you can use your Google account or you can create your own account here. Um, I suggest you go ahead and use your Google account that way you don't have to remember another username and password for this um, for this website. So go ahead and uh, choose your method for creating an account. Once your account is created, you will be taken to your dashboard, and this is where you will see the existing stacks that you've already created. We're going to go ahead and create a new set, so we'll click Create a Set. The first thing you'll need to do is give it a title. The description is optional. The next thing you need to decide is who this set is going to be visible to. Now, since we're just creating this set, I generally change this so that it's visible just to me. And then when I'm done with the set and I'm ready to distribute it to my students, I will change the um, visibility to either everyone so that anyone, anybody who comes to Quizlet can search it and find this set, or I can set up classes, or I can even assign a password to this set so that only certain people with the password can access it. So we're going to go ahead and um, change that to just me. Now you also have the option of if you leave it to everyone, who do you want to be able to edit this, this set? And when we change this from uh, everyone to just me, we'll see that the editor can only be you then. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to select your language. Now Quizlet makes it great. It works with a variety of languages, so you can actually ask the uh, have the term listed in English and the definition listed in Spanish or French or vice versa, so that when you're helping students learn vocabulary in those languages, um, they're getting some, inf some information in that other language. Uh, this is going to be an English set, so we're going to go ahead and set both languages to English. Then the next thing you'll do is enter in your terms and your definitions. The terms go in the left-hand column and the definitions go in the right-hand column. When you enter your terms, you have the option of having Quizlet auto-define the term that you've entered. So if you click on auto-define, what it does is it looks through its database and it finds that term that other people have used and the definition that they've matched it up with. So if you find one of these definitions that you like, you can go ahead and use it. If there's none in here that you like, you can go ahead and enter your own. You can add additional rows by clicking the Add Row or hit, hitting Tab on the last input box. Once you have your terms in place, you can rearrange them by clicking and dragging them. You can delete a row by clicking the X at the end of the line. So once you have your terms in for that particular set, you'll go ahead and click Create Set. And really, it's that easy. You can go back in and you can edit um, the cards, but these are all of the different ways that students have to study the uh, cards that you create. If you uh, need to make a change, you can click the pencil here and it will give you the editing options. If you want, when you're done, you click the question mark. Um, you can go back in and edit the entire stack by clicking the edit option there, and you can edit, change, uh, change the position of the um, items, and so forth. Save when you're done. But that's really how easy it is to create a stack uh, in Quizlet.